Get ready for another episode of the Experience This Show. Hi everyone, it's Dan Gingis, co-host of the Experience This Show, a podcast that's available anywhere you listen to podcasts, whether that's iTunes or Spotify or Stitcher, wherever, or you can even ask Alexa to play us on TuneIn. It's the Experience This Show. And I'm going to talk to you quickly about episode 72, which is called Eliminating, Expiring, and Understanding. Oh my. And we start with the first segment, which is the CX Press. And that is an article that we read so you don't have to. And this week's article has to do with a company that is actually trying to fix the middle seat of an airplane. So it was an article in Fast Company, and there's a company out there that is redesigning the middle seat and actually lowering it a little bit, bringing it back a tiny bit, and expanding it so that the middle seat might actually become a desirable seat on the airplane. And Joey and I talked about how interesting this was because the middle seat right now is sort of considered that seat that nobody wants, and yet a third of people on that plane are sitting in the middle. So a third of customers are having a potentially negative experience on every single flight. So we thought this was a really interesting article. And of course, in our show notes at experiencethisshow.com, we include a link to the article on Fast Company so you can go read it if you would like. We then went into our second segment, which we call Say What? And Say What is a kind of hearkening back to all of the opportunities that companies have to speak to customers that they waste. And so things like disclosures and legalese and terms and conditions, where we put all these words in front of customers that they don't understand. And so the intro to Say What? says something about why do companies use 80 words when only eight would do? And so in this particular case, we delve into the rules around rewards programs and specifically around airline rewards programs because United Airlines recently made a big announcement that for the first time, their miles are going to never expire. So we talk about miles expiration and rewards expiration and how the concept of a, a loyalty program is to reward loyalty, but then when customers earn those rewards, and they expire because maybe they didn't spend as much with the company or, or they didn't spend anything for a while, it can create a really negative experience. And Joey shares an experience that he had where he lost 100,000 points with a major hotel chain and he has in 10 years not gone back to that hotel chain. So really like that United joined Delta and JetBlue in not expiring their miles and I hope that other airlines uh, follow suit. Then we go jump into Start the Conversation, which is our new partner segment this year. It's a mini segment. It runs about two minutes. And our partner this year is Avtex. They're awesome. Go check them out at avtex.com or their site that is specifically dedicated to our show and the content in our show, experienceconversations.com. And they give us a question every week that we then provide our listeners so you can go back to your company and start a conversation about something having to do with customer experience. And this week's question has to do with bots in the call center, the contact center. And so we have a nice discussion about chatbots and the pros and cons. And I would say to summarize it for you, I think chatbots have a lot of opportunity in the contact center, but not if your goal is to replace the human customer service agents. Because customers today want to talk with a human, they don't want to talk with a robot. However, bots can do a great job in making customer service agents smarter because they can have all the information that's needed right at their fingertips. So great discussion on bots in the contact center. Finally, our third full segment and last of this particular episode is a book report. And when we talk about new customer experience books, we do things differently on the show. We don't interview the author because the author's been on so many other podcasts and they've done more or less the same interview. So we do a different format. We have the author come on and give an audio summary of their book in two minutes or less, and then they actually read their favorite passage from their own book, and then Joey and I share our favorite passages. So this week, we actually uh, talked about a brand new book by Annette Franz called Customer Understanding, and uh, was really excited to have Annette on the show, and, and the, the subtitle of Customer Understanding is three ways to put the customer in customer experience and at the heart of your business. So we had a nice conversation about this book, Customer Understanding. I highly recommend that you go and check it out on Amazon or wherever you buy books. So that was episode two of the Experience This Show. The runtime was about a half an hour. So if you've got a commute 
or if you're going for a walk and getting those 10,000 steps in and you want to listen to a great show that is a lot of fun and will inspire you to create better experiences at your company, please check out the Experience This Show with me and Joey Coleman, and we'll see you next week.